guys, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, idling back in. Um, tried testing out the small tank again, uh, with no avail, still breaking up like crazy. Uh, I'm gonna try to do uh, a different fuel pump, see if that helps. But I, uh, had, I even had the return line going back to that tank into the gas cap. Try to see if maybe the return was causing aeration in the uh, water separator. Uh, so try a new fuel pump, see if that clears this issue up. But uh, I mean, still definitely have an issue with the tank, regardless. Definitely something in the tank because uh, I mean the filters were still getting clogged. So I'd rather feel more comfortable running on the small tank anyway for now. And uh, I'm gonna pull that tank, the big tank, out in the, in the winter and. Uh, clean it, figure, you know, see if it's still good. If not, you know, it could be like, um, you know, the, the metal inside could be breaking down, which is what's getting built up. But it looks like some sort of a bacteria or like something granular uh, that's um, that's actually, you know, clogging the filters, getting in there. So see what happens. But I mean, it's so frustrating. I'm trying to keep my head straight with this thing. Uh, we'll see what happens with the new pump. And see if that does something. But as soon as I get up on plane, it just spit and fart. And I'm able to get on plane and run it for like a little bit, and then it just pops, and you know the AFR goes crazy on the dash. So it's got to be, you know, maybe it's got, you know, it's not losing pressure, fuel pressure. So I'm thinking maybe it's the volume of fuel. I don't know. I'm gonna try a different pump. If that doesn't work. Uh, I don't know then. <laughs> You know, to call in the big guns, it doesn't work. Uh, I'm also going to speak to the tuner and I'm going to do a data log when I have the pump. So if it happens with the pump, I'll also data log it and see, uh, maybe he can tell me exactly what the hell is going on. Um, you know, because like the AFRs, they go up high, which means the motor is giving, uh, the computer is giving the motor more fuel, not less. So to me, it's, it's starving for fuel at that point. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, I don't get it. Uh, I did two, I tried two different brand new air fuel O2 sensors. So, I, I mean, I don't know what else to really do after the pump, but uh, let's see what happens. So, I'm gonna keep this video going. I'll run, I'll run the boat again with the new pump and uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. decided to just take it out something wasn't right constantly having problems and every every avenue I went down it wasn't a problem spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on bullshit like fuel pumps and this and that and getting injectors cleaned and still having the same problem um, so starting fact square one I gave the uh, injectors again to the guy who originally cleaned them uh, just to double check them again, make sure they all they weren't messed up from the fuel. Uh, he told me by the looks of the tops of the injectors that I may have a valve problem. So uh, there was a lot of soot built up at the top of the injector, the inlet side, uh, which he said for the most part would be uh, like a valve, you know, like a heavy valve. Valves not opening enough, I guess. So uh, so it gets built up. So whatever, I don't really know. It's his expertise and things. Uh, but so I'm like, you know what? Let me just pull it out. I was gonna try to take the heads off in the boat and it just, the amount of work it would take to do that, I might as well just take a few more bolts out and take the whole thing out, go through the whole thing, make sure it's not that 
But I mean, I can't see it being something seriously internal. Uh, I mean, because I did have a couple of good runs where it ran mint. And so I'm just kind of like lost for words. Uh, spent like 700 on a Aeromotive Marine pump, 1000. Figured, you know, everyone was like, that's probably the issue. Something with fuel. Uh, nope. Uh, every time it went wacky with the AFR, basically the AFR jumped up high, which is com the computer saying, not getting enough fuel, you know, give it more fuel. And, uh, yeah, you could see here in the, uh, you know, in the exhaust, it's, it's rich. It was running real rich at those points, I guess, when it started to really, you know, the AFR, you know, it would say, you know, dump more fuel, more fuel. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the result of that. I had, um, another tuner look at it and, you know, just to make sure it wasn't the tune. You know, I had one really good guy tune it, same guy tuned my car. I figured, you know what, let me just double check his his stuff just just in case, you know. Another tuner, we went through three or four revisions on tunes, went back and forth, and he was like, I can't. He's like, I don't know what the hell is going on. It's calling for like, you know, like three times the amount of fuel that it needs. You know, so I don't know if it's the computer. Do I send it to Holly? You know, is it, you know, I mean, I've exhausted so many options at this point. Uh, so I'm just gonna double check the engine if everything's good with it. Uh, you know, I thought maybe, you know, when the guy built it, he didn't put the right springs in it for the cam and, and all that stuff. But now I've got double spring, 660 lifters. Uh, it's got aftermarket push rods. You know, the only thing I could do is maybe, you know, maybe now that it's out, I may upgrade the trunnion, uh, you know, to aftermarket trunnions to make sure that those are good. Um, but I mean, look at it. I mean, everything looks mint, you know. It's got a little smudge just from condensation. Uh, you know, mixed oil, mix them with the water, water mix them with oil just from condensation, but it's not like it's, uh, you know, like if, it, if there was a real problem, it'd be totally foam, like uh, milkshakey. So, um, objectives are out. They sent them, I told the guy just to make sure they mint. You know, when I get them back this way, uh, those are good. Um, don't know what else, what else it could really be here. Uh, I will tell you this. If you guys are looking to do this front pump, this Volvo pump, beware. Because this is the second time that the balancer bolt torqued with Loctite has loosened up. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it's the vibration of the pump that's doing it. But uh, definitely be aware of that. You know, if I had able to get this boat to run, I'd have another problem. I would have gotten stuck out there. I would have overheated. It would have been a pain in the ass. You know, these, these bolts here that hold it on are actually tight. It's the balancer bolt behind it that's holding this, this bracket here on uh, is loose. I'm going to do a, I'll do a video on that next. I'm not sure if we're going to have time. Maybe on Friday or Saturday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, you know, maybe I'll do a, a strictly a video on that to make sure that people know, you know, double check that. And again, I don't know why uh, it's loose again. I don't get it. But um, I'm going to start tearing this thing apart. I'm going to, got a lot of questions about the pump and about some other things on here, uh, you know, in the video comments and stuff that I'm going to address. Kind of go through uh, like an overview now that I have the, the engine out again. Um, and do an overview on how it connects to the drive and the whole bit. I should have took a video of taking the drive off. I forgot. Um, and that's it. Well, you guys are well. Um, this is my boy Shane's car. It's here for a quick touch up and then going to uh, going to storage. So low mile. This is a '87 IROC. Beautiful car. It's got the big. Uh, it's got the '17 IROC from Hawks. 245s all around. Is it 245? Yeah. No, 275s. I'm sorry. 275s all around. Beautiful car. So we did the ceramic coating on this. Uh, I want to say it was last winter or early spring. And uh, just doing a couple little touch-ups on it. And uh, he's got a five-inch. She's got a five-inch spoiler going on this soon from uh, from Hawks as well, I believe. But. Really, really nice car. These have 30,000 original miles on it. So check him out on Instagram. It's ready to IROC. 
uh, forward ready, and uh, that's uh, that's also matches his plate. Check him out. He's got some cool picks and stuff. We do some shows together. Got the dice in there. Can't miss those dice. Pretty cool. But yeah, really nice car. But, all right, guys. Stay tuned. I'll uh, have something up ASAP. Start tearing this thing down. Thanks for checking in.